for those of you who do not know me, my name is Summer. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who do know me already, welcome back to my channel. What we are doing today is the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. This is a collaboration with Soda Siren. Guys, if you do not know her, go check her channel out. She's got a wide variety of videos over there. She's got everything from unboxings and makeup to grocery hauls to weight loss videos. She has got something for everyone. So go check her channel out and let her know that I sent you. And also be sure that you subscribe to her channel. I'm going to link her videos in the description box below and I'm going to link her channel right here. Wait, yeah, we're going to just go in and do this. I'm going to use the, not exactly sure what we're doing yet or what we'll come up with. I've got all my makeup just pulled out here in front of me. We are going to go in with the Kat Von D Like It Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. I love this stuff. Um, I got this recently on sale at TJ Maxx of all places. And um, yeah, I don't know. I love this stuff and I went back to try to get more and they were out of the fair. So I've never tried to do my makeup without a mirror before. I've always joked and said I could do my makeup with the, you know, in the dark and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, I don't really know how this is going to turn out. So this will be interesting and fun to see together. Okay, I'm not going to put on primer or um, base makeup until we're done with that. I'm going to keep this right here because I'm going to need it again. Okay, I need a brush. And what am I going to do first? All right. I am going to use first, and I'm trying to be careful with this because there's mirrors on some of the palettes. So I'm leaving the palette like this one's flat. So I'm leaving the palette out here flat in front of me. And uh, that does not have a color that I can use. Okay, I'm going to grab my chocolate gold palette real quick first, and I'm going to go in with the Roll-In and the Dough just to set my eyes. Oh God, I hope I don't have dark green left on this from this morning, and I very, I very well may. God, that smells so good. Okay. I'm also going to take some of the color Decadent from this palette and I'm just going to put it in the crease. And this is what I'm a little worried about, guys, because this is a black color and I don't have any idea what this is going to be looking like right now. But I'm just kind of doing that to start my crease anyway. And then we'll go back with some other shades. So I'm not sure if the color combo that I'm going to do is going to look right. I really want to do anyway. I don't know, guys. What do you think about pink, black, and gold together? Is that too, too weird? Let me get a little more. I feel like I just need to go around one, one more again on both eyes. Okay, so who the hell knows what this is going to be looking like. I'm just going to... I hope I got it in the crease on that side. I really don't know. Okay, next, again, this is this Urban Decay palette. So I am using the color Ground. Let's see, yes, Ground. And I'm going to set that over there. You guys see it's flat. I'm just setting it down flat. Um... It's hard to do no mirror makeup challenge because there's so many palettes with mirrors. Most of my palettes have mirrors everywhere. Okay. You know what I'm really worried about though, guys? Instead of the shadow, I'm worried about the liner. I'm not too worried about the shadow, but I don't know how in the hell I'm going to line my eyes with a mirror. God, should I put more? I'm going to just put one more little bit on each eye. I'm probably going to look like somebody punched me in the eye when I'm done. Okay, alright. I'm going to put the Urban Decay Palette that Urban Decay palette up and I'm going to grab the Urban Decay Electric palette and again I'm opening that out flat so I cannot see it. I'm going to use the shade Savage 
and I'm going to go in, I'm trying to go in, you know what I should have done first, hang on guys, I meant to go back and do this, I'm going to take that concealer, I mean that um, eyeshadow primer again, and just put that in here, and I just do that, that's what I normally do when I'm doing colors like this that are brighter, just to cover up the any of the black that did go down too far. And you know, I figured if we're gonna do this, let's go all out, right? So I'm not going for your basic easy browns or whatever. I'm going in with some freaking hot pink and <laughs> from the electric palette and, um, and some like black and then I think I'm gonna try gold with it and see. The only thing I don't like is that this doesn't have any shimmer to it. So I may look for another pink in a minute that does have some shimmer just to add in with that. And I think I've got one in my chocolate gold palette that I can use. I feel like I'm probably going over all my black and ruining it. So I may need to go back and I may need to go back and touch up some black when I'm done, but we'll see. Uh-oh, I went up too far on that. I just felt that I'm definitely going to have to go back with the black. Okay, I'm going to grab my chocolate gold palette now. Again, just flipping it out. So I can get the color New Money right here because it is a pink and I want to go over that neon. I want to go over that neon pink with this pink just to give it some shimmer. So I'm trying to kind of... Stay in line with where I am. Definitely going to have to go back in with some black because I feel that I'm going over too far into my black. I know I did. And it's I'm just kind of mixing those two because I really want that neon, but I also really want the shimmer, so I'm just trying to kind of Go in with both of them and pat them in there good. I hope I'm getting enough of the neon. I'm gonna go back with just the neon now. That's really what I wanted to pick up in this. All right. I've got some really beautiful gold glitter from Stila that I really want to use, but I also have silver. Dripping diamonds out of my Too Faced. Chocolate gold. And I kept this brush a little wet by mistake, so I hope it's not really jacked up. I may get a different brush in a second and go over it. Because some of my eyeshadows don't do well wet and some do. And I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't know about this one, so I may or may not let me just get a little, oh, I'm going to take this one. Okay, I'm going to take this one, get a little, pick a little of that silver up and go in right in there. Just kind of try to blend it in a little. And then I'm going to take the silver on this side and go back over. And actually, I had this brush set out for a reason and I don't know why I didn't use it. So I'm probably going to just go back over my pinks again with this brush because I feel like it packs it on better. Okay, so we're gonna go in again with the hot pink. 
I'm definitely going to use a face wipe on my face, guys. I can do that without looking because I know that I've got this shadow all the freak over my face because I always do. So, I always know I do. Okay. I really wanted to use that gold Stila glitter, but I felt like it would, um... I'm going to take a little pop of this color called Urban in my electric palette as well. It's a purple, and I'm going to pop that in the corners. In the outer corner, going up into that black just to give it some interest. And see, I can feel right there that I'm getting it all over my face. So, okay, all right. I'm gonna go back with the black. Um, just a little bit of it, just to kind of make sure everything's kind of blended together. I'm gonna grab my makeup wipes, guys. I didn't mean to not leave those over here take this color ground out of the heavy metals palette again and I'm gonna just go back over oh, I'm scared to touch it in here I'm just gonna go back over and just hope that I'm somewhat blending okay. and now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush right here and just kind of blend as much as I can and try not to blend it all over my face. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a face wipe. clean face wipe. Let me stick this to the side over here as well. Okay. And we've got a clean face wipe. And let's just go ahead and go around the eyes just for cleanup. And this is why I did not put my base makeup. Look at that. <laughs> I knew I was going to have something under my eyes with all that. Um, this is why I did not put my base makeup on first. And I honestly don't normally do my base makeup first because of this, because I always get lots of fallout because I put too much on. Um, God, I hope I'm not like rubbing off the makeup that I want to keep on. And then I'm just going to go up the sides on each side, um, just in case I've got makeup everywhere. Okay. I come down the sides of my nose and everything. Inside. In case I throw eyeshadow down my whole face, which I could have. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put on, let me move my face wipes, okay, okay, I'm going to go in with the Naked Cosmetics palette, because Aurora did not have a pink, and this one does, and I want a, which is the pink, I think this one, I want a pink for highlight up here, oh, kind of scared, okay, I'm going to all of my eyebrows and cover up my black with that. Please excuse my dogs. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the little end of it and just pop a little in here on top of that silver. Um, I don't know how that's going to but we'll see. Okay. So that's that. And we're going to hold this highlight over here to the okay. side. So next we're going to go ahead and take some Largeller Spackle. And Okay, and we're going to use Laura Geller Speckle for our primer. Okay, I may need a little more of that. Just a little more. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to mix together this old Laura Geller, Laura Geller BB Cream and Fair. 
I'm gonna put that and then I'm gonna put just a dab of this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer because um, just to darken it up a little I like an in-between color of those two and those two are my absolute favorite foundations okay and I always put my foundation on with my fingers they're clean I've been using makeup wipes trust me they're clean I just washed my hands before I started and then I've used makeup wipes for everything so okay and it's a lot easier especially if you're not using a mirror to do your makeup with um, your fingers <laughs> all right let me try to rub some down my neck that's what I do probably fast forward through a lot of this okay I'm gonna do the that's not the right silver hang on I got silver too okay I'm gonna do the silver out of the chocolate gold it's called dripping diamonds um, okay we're gonna do this in silver Oh, this is really hard. This works hard. Okay. Um, now we're going to take the hot pink and we're just going to go under. have makeup halfway down my face. Okay. And then I'm going to take that purple color urban on the farthest. Okay. And I officially have eyeshadow all in my eyes okay closing up the eyeshadow palettes guys because we're done with those okay i need to wash my brushes it's so bad okay so that is that we need to do our eyebrows and let's see i'm gonna go in with a little bit of black liner on the waterline God, I don't even know if I'm in the, the waterline, so that kind of hurts. Okay, that's inside. Ow. I think I'm going too far into my eye. I'm just saying that I hurt a little. I'm going to sharpen this. Okay, now we've got fresh, so let's try it again. good enough because that is hurting that is hurting my eyes all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put on this liquid li no i'm gonna do powder first let's do bronzer oh god so i'm covering up the mirror on the bronzer and let's just go in with it and hope for the best <laughs> right just hope for the best hope for the best okay and let me just put a little up here I'm not going to go all out, but I'm just going to try to blend it in a little. Okay. Then we're going to take our fix. Oh, my lip gloss is just rolled away. Okay. We're going to take this um, Laura Geller Filter Fix.
All right. All right, so we're done with the powder and then... So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this coat of lipstick on because it needs to dry before I can put the topper. That was my work phone. I will look at it in a minute. I hope my lips look halfway normal. Okay. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the highlighter. Okay, that was not a text message. Y'all, my eyes still hurt. I think I stabbed myself in the eye with the, um, is that pink? I think this is pink. I'm using this Naked Cosmetics for a highlighter, and I actually have not even used it, so I hope, I may be using purple. Shit, I think I am. We're going to mix it. <laughs> We're going to mix it. Okay, we still gotta do brows. Let's see, put something on my nose. Oh, put some right here and put some right here. Oh my gosh, I think I maybe highlighted enough because I just saw it flying past me. Okay. Mm, my eyeballs hurt. Um, brows. We gotta do brows. Okay, let's just go in and I'm just like, okay, here's my brows. I hope I don't jack up my eyebrows for real. Cause that's the, <laughs> that's the hardest part other than eyeliner. Okay, I'm just gonna take the spoolie. I'm pretty sure that my brows are not gonna look right, but okay, that's that. Okay, now here comes the scariest part. I always use this Bobbi Brown Always On Gel Liner, so that is what I'm going to use um, with the No Mirror Makeup Challenge as well, and I just don't know how I'm gonna do with that, so we'll find out. Oh God, I'm gonna stab myself in the eye again. I'm just trying to get a little bit of black under the eye. Hopefully that's what I'm doing and not getting a lot bit of black. I'm literally just trying to touch it under there, that's it. Okay, now let me see about this part. This is not gonna be good. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna try to do first. Let me go to an outer corner and go. Okay, so, I don't know. I'm just doing good if I get it. At all, I'm thinking. I don't know what that looks like and I really am not sure I want to know but we're gonna go ahead and do our mascara so I'm gonna go first with the Tarte Tarteiste and I hope I don't stab myself in the eye 
Y of a Y. Is there a buzz in my mascara? Okay. So first we're going to go in with the Tarte Tartiste. Okay. Oh my god, I just got it under my eye. I can feel it. Hang on, I'm gonna fix that. Because I felt it. I felt it under there. Damn. I can't fix it because my eyeliner. Oh well. It's just what it is. I'm gonna have to leave it. So if I could see, I could fix it. But it's okay. Okay. My eyelashes are really long and it's very, very hard to put mascara on with no mirror. Okay. So first was Tarte Tartiste. Now I'm going in with Better Than Sex from Too Faced. And sometimes I just feel like this one kind of separates out my lashes a little. If the other ones clump them, it may not be doing that now because I can't see. So I have no idea. Okay. And one last thing and then we will get to see or at least i will get to see y'all been seeing okay i'm gonna put on a lip topper this is lip paint um i don't know i don't love this but i have it so i try to use it sometimes and so i figured i'd put on a a lip topper with our lovely new lip color i should have done hot pink lip gloss lipstick I don't know why I did that. I have a hot pink lipstick. Well, well, it might have clashed. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. I hope that it's not too hideous. I'm going to look now. Let me grab a mirror. Okay. Let's see this. Oh, wow. That's not bad. Except I got it a little down on my face and stuff. And, you know. <laughs> but other than that, that's not bad. I did go a little further over on this eye. With my silver, my eyeliner's jacked up, if y'all can see. But thank God for mascara because it covers everything. Wow. I mean, I definitely needed some more blending. Um, I definitely needed some more blending, like up here. And I'm just going to do that now. Uh, the, the recording, I mean, that... The, doing it, it's over but yeah I like this actually <laughs> I would do these colors together another time when I was using a mirror and my makeup would look better and I would definitely try these colors out again you guys definitely make sure you get a close-up in on the eyes you can see how jacked up my mascara I mean my eyeliner is when I close my eyes but with the mascara you really can't even tell so hey Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this no mirror makeup look. Please make sure you go check out Soda Siren's channel as well. If you are not a subscriber of hers, make sure you hit her up. Show her some love. Hit that subscribe and that thumbs up button and let her know that you came from my channel. I'm going to link her channel and her videos in the description box, guys. So, um, yeah, go hit her up. Show her some love. Let her know you came from my channel. And thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.